Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson about co-creation. My name is Durga Prasad Bandari from Nepal Engineering College. Let's start with understanding what co-creation is. The word co-creation basically is a combination of two words co and creation. The co part in the word can refer to a combined combination of collectively or coming together. The key takeaway here is that whenever there is a suffix co, it has to do something with more than one and also with coming together for some specific purpose or actions. The second part of the word is creation which is the action or process of bringing something into existence. The word something in this definition refers to a value. This is created value can be an idea, a product, an approach, an intervention, a solution, a concept, a learning, a reflection and so on. Now when the two words co and creations are combined into the word co-creation then this word implies collectively creating a value of such sort so multiple actors together create a value. Just collecting input from customers or other people does not mean co-creation. The objective of the co-creation should be that all parties play an active role and the value should be mutually created. What is the difference between teamwork and co-creation? In classic teamwork, you work together with your team to achieve a common goal. For instance, you work together on finding a solution to a certain problem. In co-creation, you involve various people who are in the same way involved in your project creation phase, which means that you will collaborate with your team as well as with people outside your team who are relevant for the project you work on. You will seek out everyone who is or will be involved in your project and look for insights and ideas together with them. This way, you expand your team with all the project stakeholders from which valuable insights can be gained and possible errors can be avoided. Let's have a look at how the concept of co-creation has been evolving over time. One can say that co-creation among individuals has always existed in various ways with families, tribes and small communities etc. and that it played a crucial role in the development of human civilization from ancient times. However, the currently held definition and concept of co-creation has a very short history. The most commonly used definition of co-creation was created in the late 1990s and early 2000s as joint creation of value by the company and the customer allowing the customer to co-construct the service experience to suit their context. It describes a new kind of relationship between customers and companies where customers are always involved in development process to define the value of a product a service for themselves. This marked the shift to a more participatory process where relevant stakeholders together with their team create value. Now let me explain a three-step approach for co-creation. Step one is to identify and select relevant stakeholders. The very first thing that needs to be considered in a co-creation activity is that there is an involvement of more than one actor. Not only your own team is working on this project, but you also involve external stakeholders. Try to list all the people who are directly or indirectly influenced by your project. This can be potential customers, users or others that might have interest. After the list, listing, you can select the key stakeholders that you would like to co-create with. The step two is to understand your co-creators. Once you identify the actors to co-create with, it is important to get to know them by doing some research. Who are they? Try to observe their behavior and interactions, do a need assessment, Set up interviews in order to get valuable information for your project. This step really requires active participation of all team members and stakeholders. You can stimulate this for example by asking open-ended questions as a conservation status. Step 3 is to co-create. Now you have obtained an understanding of who the co-creators are. You can start with a co-creation session in which you work together on tasks such as understanding the problem, idea generation, 
or validation of the problem solution fit. Now let me give you some tips on how successfully co-create. Since there will be various people involved in the co-creation process, you might come across conflicting ideas and different point of views. Managing all this and making most of the co-creation session is really a challenging task. Try to stimulate an open discussion by respecting all different ideas. Similarly, unclear expectations and role might also cause conflict. So make sure there is a clear role and task division in your co-creation team and try to get to know each other and initiate trust building exercise to strengthen the willingness to co-create. Make sure that the involved people from outside your team feel safe in the project environment as well as by respecting and acknowledging the involvement of each co-creator in your session. Now you know what co-creation is and how you can co-create with a three-step approach. Thank you for your watching this video.